Okay. My name is Andrew Campbell. I'm a flight controller and sailor on board. Okay, we went offshore again today. Uh, how'd it go out there? Oh, we had an amazing day offshore today. Um, you know, we've been putting a priority on making sure we're in conditions that look like Barcelona, and, and uh, I think outside of Pensacola is about as good as we can get. So uh, we, had a, we had a really nice, nice day of sailing finally. Um, first, first sessions of the new year, you know, the priority is to get outside, and there we were. So you'd say the conditions outside today were similar to what we see in Barcelona? That's for us to find out, I suppose. It's certainly closer to it outside than it is inside here in Pensacola, but um, you know we make the most of it regardless of what where we're going to sail. Um, outside here it gives us a little more bump and gives us that kind of random sea state that we think we'll probably see in, in, Pen in Barcelona. Was there a specific focus today going offshore? Um, no, I mean, you know, there's a lot going on with the systems, there's a lot going on with the sail plan, um, you know, there's a lot going on with the foils all the time, anytime we go out sailing that we're learning about and we're always kind of it, with the lens of a new venue. So, uh, you know, now more than ever, any chance we get to go and, and be in a venue here that looks as close as it's going to be for the match, you know, that that's, that's ideal for us. So um, now that we're kind of changing our you know how we frame our day of sailing. That's uh, that's the priority is to go into a sea state that looks more similar to what we think it'll be like in the Mediterranean. Okay. Uh, were there any breakages today? We saw some guys looking at the portfolio. Yeah. Um, no, nothing abnormal. More than you know any normal stuff that happens on a day of sailing. You know these boats get pushed pretty hard, and um, they are performance oriented. You know they're they ha they have to be reliable enough to get us around the racetrack in a race, but. They have to be uh, pushed to the edge enough that, that we're pushing the performance envelope. So, um, you know, nothing beyond what we would normally see. What was going on with the portfolio? Uh, you know, those, basically the one design foil arms are, are um, a piece that we need to deal with, you know, um, with, a, with fairings on the front half and the back half of the foils. And so um, where those intersect and how those all work together, you know, where the one design piece and where our piece work, um, that's a constant state of, of uh, consternation for us. We're always looking for for um, ways to, to figure that out and um, you know finding those intersections is looking at those intersections making sure everything looks right and looks like we expect them to that's a that's a high priority for us so no epiphanies on how we're gonna make that um, you know work yet we're always always looking for good solutions. How does uh, what changes in flight control when you go from from inshore to offshore? Well um, you know, inshore here, like in Auckland, is kind of a mill pond. You know, it's a flat, um, generally pretty easy place to go sailing from a flight control perspective. And uh, when the sea state, um, you know, gets added on top of that, you're um, dealing with a, a, a whole other animal. And when a sea state like today, where it was kind of off center, off off axis, um, it's uh, it's pretty challenging for for anybody doing it. You know, and much less. You know, some of us who've had a couple years of experience doing it, so we're learning it all over again every time we go out. What's the biggest opportunity going forward with regard to offshore sailing? Uh, I think that every time we go out there, we're learning something, so it's a it's a big priority for us. You know, we see Alingi in the venue, you know, doing that, and that's a a good motivation for us to to go out and, and hack into it. We see Lunarosa going out in in bigger sea states, and we know that um, you know we need to be kind of prepared for that and ready when we get to the Mediterranean. Thank you very much. Sure. Thanks, guys.